Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is a kind of 24, a day long readathon. Not really 24 hours, but like for today. So it is currently like 11 o'clock and we actually got home last night from Morocco. So everything's a little crazy right now. I have today and then I start work tomorrow and I'm going to be working full time until school starts and then I'm going to go down to part time and then do school. So I, I thought, you know, with this day off that I have, there's a lot that I need to do, a lot that I need to get done. But I haven't done a lot of reading on vacation because, you know, I'm going out, I'm doing things, I'm seeing things, blah, blah, blah. And so I just haven't been reading as much as I normally did. So I thought I would take a day to read some graphic novels because there are some really good graphic novels I've been wanting to read. And this would just help me get back into, especially physically reading, starting things and completing things, you know what I mean? When you just need like that boost of, I haven't been reading, I need something short and quick to kind of throw me back into it, or at least ease me back into it. So that's what today is going to be. I'm going to kind of alternate where I'm gonna like do a task, maybe to read a book, do a task, maybe to read a book, but, um. I do have some other fun things, like I gotta open some book mail, I'm gonna go book shopping as well um, because I, I need some graphic novels. I was supposed to get at least two books in the mail while I was gone and I only see one package, but it could just be that I don't know where my family has put the other package for me. <laughs> so it's gonna be a little bit scattered, but it'll be okay. So right now I am looking at on campus jobs at school and I'm getting sidetracked because I was doing something else and I don't remember, but I, I have been productive. I've done some things this morning already. So yeah, it is now almost two o'clock. I haven't read anything yet. And here's the, here's why I had bought a graphic novel and it was shipped to my house. And now that I'm home, I, I, I was going to open it and that was going to be the first one I read before I did my errands because I'm doing them in the afternoon. And um, I get home and there's only one package from Barnes & Noble, not two. And I know what the package, the other one is, and we'll open that together later. And it's not the graphic novel. So I haven't read anything, but I am going to go out and run my errands now and grab other graphic novels that I'm going to read. But hopefully we can find the other one because I wanted to read them all today because I start work tomorrow. I don't have time. So we're going to go run some errands now. All right. Mission complete. Books have been acquired. Ran to Sephora for a little basics refresh. Very, very small. And now I have an eye appointment to, because I think I need an updated prescription. And before I start working for a glasses company full time where I get free glasses every once in a while, I want to get the most up to date prescription. And because my eyes have been driving me nuts recently and I have some questions. Then after that, I'm going to go home. I'm going to read one of these books because I've done a lot and I haven't read anything yet. I'm going to do a couple other things, but then I'm probably going to get a haircut with my mom. So that's the plan. I'm in my mom's car. I love driving my mom's car. So nice. All right, but I got to get to that appointment. So let's go. Oh, okay. I'm already back home. It's 530, which... I got much later start to the day than I thought I would, but it was worth it because we didn't get home until 1.30, so I wasn't asleep until 2 a.m. So, woke up at 9, kind of got a, a late start, but it's fine, it's fine. But let's go over it. Okay, so this is going to be the little haul portion of the day. Um, I had to, after my eye appointment, I was recommended to get some 
eye drops. So I had to get those. Fun, fun. My eyes don't work. So <laughs> maybe now they will. And then I went to Sephora, which I wear makeup pretty much every day because I think it's fun and I it boosts my confidence. But I don't wear a lot of makeup. Like I don't wear foundation. I only wear concealer when I need it. You know, just very basic, minimal stuff, but I needed more eyebrow filler. I kind of just get whatever I see that I like that has a brush. <laughs> this is why I'm not a makeup person, like a beauty guru kind of thing. So I got some eyebrow and then I got some new blush because I only have one, one blush. And I like it. It's great. I wear I wear blush very lightly, um, but I did want... A different color I want to kind of experiment and play around with different color blushes a little bit so I got myself I cheated myself this is part of my usual daily routine and this was a treat of uh, you survived traveling for longer than 48 hours feel pretty look look pretty <laughs> and now the exciting part that you're actually here for the book Sorry for all the, the mess and chaos. When you move from one state to another state and then instantly go on a two month vacation out of the country, life becomes chaos. So that's really what this vlog is. It's just, it's, it's a chaotic 24 hours. Anyway, we're gonna start off with some book mail. So like I said, I have this one package. I know what it is, I'm very excited. Um, but I still haven't found my other package. I am sure it's around here somewhere. Like, I am so sure. It's got to be somewhere in this house. So, this one. It's Fourth Wing, of course. Of course. I read this. I loved it, just like everyone else. So I needed a copy and I wanted a copy when Barnes and Noble didn't have a single copy in the entire state and probably in the entire country. So I put in an order and now it's here and it's so shiny and it's so big. Like I knew it was a little like thicker, like it's a good fantasy novel, but it's like tall and a little thick. I love it. I can't believe it. So. So I have this. It's not a graphic novel, obviously. Um, but I have that. And then the other book that is around here somewhere, I swear, is The Sprite and the Gardener. And this is a graphic novel. I ordered it because I wasn't sure it was going to be available in Barnes & Noble. So I got it sent here. And then also I would have one for the morning before I went out and ran all my errands. And then I couldn't find it. So... I did not buy it though because I'm I want to go through all of my stuff first because I'm gonna need to go through all my stuff anyway because I need to like partly move into my parents house and then get ready to move into our next living situation so I'm gonna be sorting through I'm not super worried I'm just kind of bummed that I won't read it today unless I find it today um, but what I got at Barnes & Noble today first off the first book I'm gonna say not a graphic novel is Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffin. I have instantly purchased and read every Rachel Griffin book I got. I actually pre-ordered this but because of traveling kind of messed up our credit cards and debit cards like just our whole financial sh system got so messed up even though we called everyone beforehand and was like hey we're gonna travel to like 10 different countries this summer you know don't flag our account, please. Uh, still had issues. So I'm going to cancel my order of this because it, it didn't like go through. So I'm just going to officially cancel the whole order because now I have it in person and it's, it's beautiful. I don't think this is my favorite cover of hers and oh my gosh, look at that. It's so pretty. And all of Rachel Griffin's books or the two others, um, have really pretty, like, under the dust jacket. Oh, this one's got a big old quote. I mean, it's still beautiful. It's still gorgeous. 
it's just different and I like the other ones better but I'm really excited for the story I feel like this story is bigger than her other books because her her first first book is introducing her version of magic in our world like urban fantasy kind of the second book is a very contained bubble like this is a story you've got like four characters and it's just a nice like day read kind of thing and I loved it I think that is honestly my favorite um and this one seems much more like in the magic world like more broad and with higher up people and so i am really excited that this is going to be like just a bigger story in her world of pacific northwest witches so super excited for that um and they're always very like in tune with nature because you know it's pacific northwest vibes so i think it'll be a nice one to read this fall now on to the graphic novels and I am going to try and read one right now just because I've done so much work and I could definitely use a break. But I also know that dinner is going to be ready soon and then we have so much to do after dinner. And there's still a ton that I have to do before I start work tomorrow. Like all of my clothes, I, I've done laundry so that all of my vacation clothes are clean. But they're vacation clothes. They are not appropriate for the office. So, and all of my other clothes are packed away. And it different room not in our bedroom at all so I still have to go find them and dig them out and put them in the room so that I can get dressed in the morning because I'm not a morning person this is not something I can do in the morning I have to have clothes in this room for me to wear if I'm gonna get dressed the next day <laughs> anyway let's continue on so I did get three graphic novels and I am so so the first one is The Moth Keeper by Katie O'Neill. I love the Tea Dragon books by this author and this just seems so sweet and you know she's a moth keeper and but she's kind of like you know what if I want to see daylight what if I want to see the sun and not just be like a keeper of the night moths and so I think it'll be a cute like heartwarming Maybe a little hard hitting <laughs> graphic novel. Um, so I was happy about that. And then, oh my word, I have heard a couple people talk about this next one, and I think it's gonna be perfect for fall. I, yeah, like I said, I've heard a couple people talk about it. I'm like, that's exactly what I need in my life, and that is Basil and Oregano, and this is by Melissa Cabrillone. I'm sorry. I, I feel like it's an Italian name and I'm not Italian. I don't know. But this is it. This is the graphic novel. It is tall but short and it's about these girls who go to like this magic cooking school question mark. It's just a regular cooking school but I believe it's queer and I just... So I have this one which I don't know if I want to read this one. I don't know if I want to read this one first or the last book that I got. Every spooky season comes and goes and every time it comes I'm like, oh, this year I'm going to read this book. This year I'm going to buy it. I'm going to read it. I'm going to love it. And it just didn't happen. So this year, this is the year I'm going to gonna read it because I bought it finally. And uh, <clears throat> that's Mooncakes uh, by Wendy Zhu, Suzanne Walker, and... Yo met Gil again. I'm pro I probably butchered those names, but you know, it's a queer love story with like a witch and a werewolf and look, baking. I love baking in books. So yeah, like I think this is a, I think honestly this, I might save this for spooky season, which in my opinion, now that it's August, I can start thinking about and getting ready for fall. This I think is a good fall book and I think this is a good fall book. I think right now I'm going to read Basil and Oregano just because I don't have a lot of time and it's the shortest graphic novel of them. So I'm gonna do this. Probably gonna have dinner. <sighs> gonna try and straighten out this room which will probably be a part of my monthly reset. 
because I need to film my monthly reset video. Mostly because I need a monthly reset. <laughs> so. And then we have to, we're going to go to my partner's family and say, hi, we're back. We missed you. And then I just got to get ready for tomorrow, make, make lunch for tomorrow. You know, do those, do those adulty things and some more computer work. But first I'm going to take a little like 30 minute self care and read basil and oregano. Okay, I just got called down for dinner, but I am 30 pages into basil and oregano, and this is the cutest thing ever. And it's super inclusive, which just warms my heart like nothing else, so. Why don't you just be a cutie pie? Yeah. Okay, good morning. It's actually the next day, so we had, oh, I don't even remember when I updated you. We had dinner, I did some more reading, I did some more cleaning, and then we went and said hi to my partner's family. We got back and we were super tired. Also, I have Tella here with me. Baby girl. But, and then we just went to bed. I didn't quite finish basil and oregano, but I woke up a little earlier today than I thought I would. So, <laughs> I am going to quick finish reading it because I was almost done I got real close to the end um so I'm really sad I had to like pause it for a hot second yeah yeah you're just you're just being adorable aren't you it's really cute I really love it um I love the food and everything so yeah I'm gonna quick finish that and then I gotta get ready for my first day at work I didn't think this would be a 24-hour uh Thing in the sense of like it was just gonna be yesterday so it was probably gonna be more like 12 to 14 hours but I guess I'm gonna continue it this morning because I want to read at least one book <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna do that now okay I did finally just quick finish basil and oregano and it is pure perfection it is adorable and it brought me pure joy even this early in the morning so definitely a five stars. I, I just loved it and I don't think I'll be able to read any more graphic novels unfortunately. Uh, at least not in this vlog but I'll, I'll read them in the next couple of days. So there we go. Now I gotta get ready for my first day of work. Work fit. Let's go. All right. Thank you everyone for watching this very chaotic 24 hours. I'm back. Uh, vlog video thing um <laughs> if you liked it give it a thumbs up otherwise comment down below if you have any graphic novel recommendations otherwise hit the subscribe i am going to be making videos again hi i'm going to be making videos again i'm going to try and get back to my two videos a week but for now it might just be one until i get a little more settled so make sure you subscribe hit the bell to be notified when those videos do go up but until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.